I like doing people. So if I get a chance, I'm going to try to do two things very, very quickly. Uh, the second of which might be painting somebody from, uh, from the audience. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but we were, we were prepared for it anyway. Um, I was born in West Palm Beach, Florida, many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> and uh, I have to add a couple more names in there. Uh, and came to Talladega College at a, at a very young age and uh, graduated and eventually came back to Talladega College. So, um, I've spent an enormous amount of time in Talladega and at Talladega College. Um, I majored in biology, and when I got back here, I was dean of math and science for a while, and then I became uh, the uh, provost. I did teach for, I think, the first 12 years of my time in Talladega. Uh, as uh, Mr. Sinclair said, now I have uh, I met Mr. Sinclair first time this year because this is his first year here, and you got a very excellent person leading the art department, and uh, and one of the things that he's managed to do is to expose you to a number of uh, people. In addition to being a great artist himself, he is a scholar of the art. A lot of people can teach art, but he's actually a scholar of the art. And he uh, knows his stuff, and uh, you would, with this introduction of him, you would think I was getting paid for this one, but I'm not. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm, I'm glad to have made his association. We eat lunch periodically together and talk about a lot of arts and what we can do to improve your art major. The art major was actually started under my tenure as vice president for vice president, provost and vice president for academic affairs. I wrote the first um, curriculum for that with some advice and help from Dr. Colin Potter, uh, 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 William Collins from Alabama State. So, and I think the first art major graduated last year. Yes, yes. Mr. Mr. Melissa Webb. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mr. Melissa Webb was the first mm -hmm. one. So we have not had, uh, were you giving us a signal? Oh, no. May or not. May or not. May or not. May or not. Um, and I had the great pleasure of teaching, I don't see anybody in here that I taught in my last semester in college. So I managed to have taught in art and in science, science and art at Talladega College. And perhaps that young lady will come in after her uh, 10 o'clock ago. Uh, I am going to not bore you with a lot of details and technicalities. I'm sure Tommy, well, how many were, were here yesterday? Because new faces. I know Tommy. I know that Tommy Moorhead uh, did a good job of telling you the ins and outs of the. Uh, Art techniques. How many of you are art students? Majors. I mean, majors in not one. We have a gentleman back here. I'm sure, he can change his major either way he's back. I'm back in the back. He's got one of those cool hand raises. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I don't want to bore you with a lot of stuff that you already heard from Mr. Sinclair and from yesterday, Tommy Thomas, and 
at the same time, a little bit of discussion, we give time for a couple of other people to uh, show up. I work on canvas with uh, ink wash. I mean, not ink wash. I started with the ink wash technique. But I started the uh, technique of uh, using diluted paint to paint paintings through my efforts with the ink wash technique. And the wash means something similar to glaze in the sense that you just dilute out your a thin, your a made transparent to pigment by using, in this instance, water. And uh, so I have all the what I need here to do that. I used models for one time and uh, whether it's fortunate or not, well, uh, unfortunate, one of my models in the audience today is Valerie, you just, you want to stand up? Can stand up? No. <laughs> Ms. Valerie, Valerie has the uh, has been a friend for a long time, and uh, she sometimes, I wouldn't say it's modeling, it's really the picture that the character for her. And uh, so I, and this is a painting I'm going to work on today. Mm -hmm. Nice color. Yeah. And if you would, let me uh, talk about this. Here is a picture of Miss Valerie that I worked on. sitting on the dock of the Kusa River. And the one next to that is a photograph that somebody gave me in Pell City that is uh, of an old man sitting on a park bench. I did that. Now both of those I have to finish and I may have a chance to do something to each of those. Well, here today, so neither one of those is, is finished. Now, those were done with a uh, brush. This one was done with a palette knife only and very thick painting. As a matter of fact, you see, the, this is what I painted that with. And using uh, undiluted paint, of course. Critics come out of two black oil paints, like toothpaste, so uh, just go to work on it. And I may do something with that today, too. Uh, that, I consider that one to be complete. And behind me is a self portrait. And here is the pen. Here is a painting on the wall of a lady eating melon that I have not yet decided whether I am a pinch with that or not. So at some point or another I may uh, do something with that. Uh, another piece. Now this piece is in uh, the website that I am on, Black Art in America, developed with about 50 artists a tribute to Oprah Winfrey. This is one of the five paintings in that tribute to Oprah Winfrey. And, uh, and the book has been selling well. You can go on that website, blackartinamerica.com, and see and, and preview a copy of it. But uh, I don't think I've got another, there's no other thing. I think this one may be in, in that in among the five uh, paintings too. Uh, any questions for this part? We are talking about the war no. They're in battle. Yeah. Impressive. You know question is all. The one that you say you consider finished. Um, how much paint did that take? Did it take a lot because I see you doing Which one is that? Describe it. The uh, one itself? Purple, the orange, and the red. 
Oh, okay. Well, here, small one. Palette knife. Yeah. Palette knife? Yeah. Uh, um, you said you did not do that at all. So, how much paint did that actually take? Oh, I, oh, I may have taken about a quarter or two. It's not, it's not a whole lot, but uh, I actually, let me, let me hold that for a second. What? Picture the two heads not on this painting. Okay. I had an abstract I'd done, and it's been hung around the house for a long time. I said, well, I turned it this way, then I used a palette knife to put the black on. I had painted the picture with a palette knife at first. I was going to sell it as an abstract, and now I, I did not do that with it. So what has happened? I mean, what has happened during that time? Some of there was some time in between the original and Oh, the yeah, black, a lot of time. And then the black. Mm -hmm. But it was there in your home, mm -hmm. looking at it. Mm -hmm. Guess what was going on between him and the painter? Mm -hmm. There was a conversation. On a daily basis, what do we do with you? Mm -hmm. And finally, the idea comes. That's what we'll do to you. Mm -hmm. And turn it from here to there. Yeah, because you're exactly right. And I said, well, first of all, what did that big circle up there in the corner mean? Was it? I deliberated a long time and said, well, uh, it must do something to me. So I considered it to be a, a son. Mm -hmm. So I. Uh, Say, well, I want to paint just with the sun on it, so I decided to uh, turn it on its side and add two slaves to it. And can any, any of you see the Amistad out here in the water? Yeah, some type of shot. The Amistad. Well, now, what I might do with that is put a touch of white right here. So you know that those were sails, but when actually when they're that close to the line to the shore, the sails are furled up yeah. around a long, long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, but I still can do something. So I, I might do a little something to it to uh, indicate that that's the ship. You know, what I like about the way you approach this, you know, we're talking to people and they have something, you know they have something in their mind they want to tell you. And what do you say to them? Speak to me. Mm -hmm. That's what he was saying to this painting when it was in this mode, without this on here. Every day he'd go by there, speak to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's told. It actually gets to the point where it works or something. Right. I'm trying to interpret what it's trying to say, yeah. Yeah. trying to say to you. So. Mm -hmm. And you did not use the wash technique with that one? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. okay. Right. So I was just painting. Now what I may have done with the brush was just underpaint the canvas, mm -hmm. all one color, and then uh, so that uh, lot so space wouldn't be showing through where I missed with the. Uh, with you know, the also, Dr. Bay, you know the uh, the underpaint that you're talking about. What does that do for me having a conversation with that canvas? What does it do? Yeah. Well, you know, it, it says, um, you know, what's happening uh, now, what kind of, uh, uh, well, actually, the underpainting actually influences what you're going to put on top of it. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, it just starts the right. conversation. It starts the conversation. And um, I said, well, what's going to contrast very well with that? And I decided that the reds and the and the other colors were there. So, and I and I work with a limited palette, meaning I use only a